Very good morning from here in South Cambridge in the United Kingdom from uh, myself and little Des here, who still hasn't been plugged in since he last made an appearance. I should probably plug him in and update him, but I just wonder if I don't update him, is he going to be unique or special? Well, he may well be. Today's episode, I'm going to cover speed, which will be running constantly, I think, in one of these corners somewhere. I still haven't figured that out. And also, I'm going to cover the questions that you've been asking. And finally, I'm going to hopefully give you a time and a date for a live stream where I'm going to test things that matter, such as gaming performance. Actually, can Starlink live stream? Because that is a valid point for people at Twitch or have, you know, with these gaming channels and various other things. Uh, and maybe I'll try some voice calls and various other things, ring up some random people and see how long we can hold a connection, some chat and various other things. So that's what's coming at you today. So one of the first questions and actually a valid point and a place of interest was from Peter Lee and he asked, have you tried looking at the satellite tracker and it shows up the position of satellites and various other things. Yes, I have. And I really like the site. It shows more satellites. Obviously, there's loads being launched at the minute. But whenever I originally looked at it, uh, when I placed my order for Starlink, there wasn't many above the UK. There was maybe one or two at any one time and there was quite a few gaps in between the circles so that's really improved over the last couple of weeks and it's a, it's a really interesting site uh, that's worth checking out next up we had this comment from all my hobbies and it is at some point some customers are going to wake up to the fact that just because they call it a beta if you're paying full price it's not a beta you're getting consistent internet that works 24 hours a day is really the whole point and no one needs 400 down uh, what you feel in this? I thought it was actually quite a good point. And, uh, you know, when does a better become not a better? I mean, that is a that's a mind blowing question. And a one that could be massively deep. Anyway, the point is that, yes, it is improving. Let me show you this. This is back in the day when it was uh, Starlink was originally released in the UK last year this was the outages and then this is this morning's stance beside it and you can see that there is a substantial improvement now i think we're not far off having a 24 7 fully stable fully functioning internet service i don't think it's 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 a long way away so that's a that's that's hopefully well, that's my opinion I, I don't know whether i'm right or wrong but when you look at the how much it's come on over the last few months, well, it's massive and it's improving drastically almost on a daily basis. So thank you so much for that question. Next up, there's a question about my accent. Yes, it's from Ulster, you're right. And this is from uh, Posh Pants Paddy. Uh, my, my accent really from Donaghadee, a uh, little seaside town, lovely little place in Northern Ireland. I had to change it somewhat when I came to England because people looked at me and didn't have a clue what I was saying. So therefore I have a very much watered down, unusual, messed up accent. Next up, I had this comment from Rickaroo, which was going to follow you for the update on the gaming experience with it. Thanks. So, yeah, I think the best way to show gaming performance is to live stream. I did some Gears of War last night and I wasn't live streaming that, of course. I mean, I'm, I, I, yeah, it's not worth live streaming. I don't think anybody would watch it for a start, but I played it with my son. I put my son on the other ISP that I have coming into the house, which is the uh, Zen one, and it runs off a copper. 30 meg down five up and he was getting a ping of about four so he was he tended to be and he was host and actually he carried me for most of the games my ping was sitting around anywhere from 17 18 to 35 so it wasn't bad uh, and it was actually we had a really good night gaming last night so I touched on it earlier and maybe, just maybe, we'll do some sort of live stream where me and him game and I think it might be mobile gaming so that it's, well, I think console gaming can be different in the sense that it can create a bigger buffer for lag and maybe stop those huge spikes. I find that mobile gaming is quite spiky. It happens and, and, and you, 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 there's nothing you can do. It's, it's real time and... I think that might be a more accurate gauge in a weird sort of way. So hopefully that helps. 
And then this question from Ryder is, how long did you have to wait for the dish after you placed your order? So I placed my order a few weeks ago. So we're, we're coming up to week two of ownership and I placed my order and within three days, it had originally projected I would get mine in the middle of the year saying that they're going to increase speeds to 300 meg and there's a whole load of good stuff in the email. It was really exciting. And then I got an email a few days later to say it had been dispatched and it was on its way. So mine was no more than a week from placing my deposit, which was £89, to the dish arriving. So it was pretty, pretty mind blowing. I was really excited. And I've seen so many videos of people being excited about their getting their box and their Starlink. And uh, I just don't want to show that stuff. I want to talk about the reality of a working, which I hope helps a little bit in terms of whether you want this system or you don't. Next up, I had this comment from uh, Subagon, and this was Try and Plastic Oil Decoy to Scare Away the Birds. Mounted next to or above the dish. And actually, I think it's a really good point. I have not had many obstructions pop up over the last few days, and somebody had made a comment that it may well be space debris. And yeah, it could be. I, I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's like a uh, when you hold your hand in front of the light and it makes it. The closer to the dish, the, the the smaller the obstruction or bigger its impact on its signal. I, I, that, that felt like it made no sense. But I just wonder with the stuff in space, is it so far away that it will have negligible impact? Hmm, it sounds like a very scientific question and one which I don't feel qualified to answer. And then I had this question from Martin Eastwood. It was about mounting it how did you get it in the roof i've been waiting forever for a pipe adapter and it's out of stock so my starlink is been sat in the box for a week yeah i feel you i mean i'd ordered a pipe adapter as well and i just cancelled it i reached out to one of the guys on on facebook and it was starlink installations limited and it's in the uk it's a they, they've started a company to do these installations they were an aerial company it's a guy called Colin, I think, owns it. And he came out and he did the installation. And it was it was really good, actually. Um, I can't fault him. And I just, you, you've been more patient than I have because mine was in the garden for a day and a half and I was losing it. Like, I just could not. I had to get it on the roof. I wanted to give it the best possible chance to see space clearly. And uh, I'm glad I did because my everything improved. And yeah, there was a ton of beta rollouts at the same time but it just seems that now there's no excuse. It's now just about the service. There's no line of sight issues. There's no obstructions. Nothing can go wrong with it up there except for wind, which I'm concerned about, whether it's going to be able to withstand high winds. In the UK, we don't get much snow or really harsh weather. In fact, there's snow forecasted for the first week in April. So who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll let you know on that. Um, but in terms of rain and stuff like that, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And of course, this is the internet, so you do end up with some very, very random conversations and random comments. I think this was my favorite one in terms of obscure thoughts. And it made me quite emotional, actually. It was quite a moving comment, and I know this person loves moving music. So we're, we'll, let, let's, let's go into that mode and go through this conversation. This is from Gonve Greg. This guy gets a sales job at Tesla. Really? Shit. I was crying about some internet from space. LOL. And I replied, I'm guessing you don't mean me. Internet from space is on. Yeah, it was like my grandma died music. And this guy's emotional about the speed. What is really happening? I replied, I guess you can always pass me by. Speed is great. Also, when Ellen comes up here at the weekend, I'll ask him for a free Tesla. And finally, we close the conversation with, do that. I want pics. So there you have it. I love that conversation. It was just so random and yeah, when Ellen comes up here the weekend to check out the sheep and various other things, I will ask him for my free Tesla. So I hope that has been useful today. I, I've enjoyed sharing this information with you. I've enjoyed your questions. I'm still loving Starlink. 
The downloads, as you've seen from the tests that I've been running during the conversation, they're a bit hit and miss over the last couple of days. Stability has improved a little bit. It's still not perfect. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's all a learning progress. It's all happening in, in real time. These updates are coming down all the time and I think things are getting better at a dramatic speed. So whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one and I will catch you later.